everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and my bro Mark Lobliner did a video, and he did mention in the video, he wasn't going to say whose name it was, it was obviously he's talking about me because we're friends, and Mark and I are friends, we do do business together, Mark and I don't have any problems, and Mark made some statements in the video, and a lot of people have asked me to address it, so I thought I would just cover it briefly when he talked about his video of, of the industry embracing mediocrity, and there's a few points I want to make. The truth is... What I'm promoting is actually the opposite of mediocrity. What I'm telling people is don't get all involved in bodybuilding and your physique and everything is the main focus of your life because for 99.9% .9 of you, that will doom you to a life of mediocrity because the opposite of mediocrity is to obtain either some type of wealth, status, social status, publicity out in the public, basically becoming a prominent public figure in some way or becoming fairly financially successful, that is how you break out of mediocrity. Mediocrity means that you are unknown, that you're financially average, middle class or lower. Uh, nobody knows who you are. You have no notoriety, no wealth of any type to push you above the norm. The reality is for everyone other than the genetically elite and gifted, a focus on your physique, a focus on bodybuilding or men's physique or anything like that is going to force you into a life of mediocrity. You're never going to amount to anything because you spend all of your time chasing a dream that will never get you any fame, never get you any notoriety, and probably never even get you enough money to live comfortably on. And it tends to be for people as they get further and further into it, it becomes a larger time obsession, a larger financial obsession, a larger drug obsession as they go. And very, very few actually make even a decent living at it or become known outside of a little tiny niche community. So it's not like pro sports. It, it actually obsessing with it is going to force you into mediocrity instead of utilizing your same time and energy doing something more productive. And the truth is you can live a productive life. You can live a life of excellence while still being fit and lifting weights and working out. You can still make it to the gym three days a week, work out, eat well, eat a good balanced diet, a healthy diet, have a healthy lifestyle, and be very fitness oriented while still pursuing something worthwhile, while becoming a medical doctor, uh, while becoming a lawyer, while becoming a, a politician. Well, uh, that may not be a positive thing, but you'll at least get notoriety or even start your own business and be successful. I mean, let's be honest here. When we look at Mark, for example, is Mark's breakout of mediocrity because he's a bodybuilder? No, it's because he started a successful company, actually a couple of successful companies that make fantastic money and he has used that to increase his outreach and so he's become a public figure in our industry. But more importantly, he is an entrepreneur, a businessman. His bodybuilding is a side thing connected to it and he, it helps fuel his income a little bit, but his actual bodybuilding costs him money. He loses money on that. That's not what has pulled Mark out of mediocrity. It's the fact that he's been a successful businessman. So when we talk about this mediocrity thing, we need to realize that getting stuck in bodybuilding or stuck in, in focusing on your physique purely is actually a fairly mediocre endeavor in the grand scheme of things. Now, we're talking about professional sports. That's a different thing. But the majority of the listeners out there are already too old to be earning their scholarships. Most of you are, no, are too old. You're not 16 and competing in sports and trying to get a scholarship, which in and of itself is its, its own great thing. If you can go to university for free, and leave with no student loans and get a degree because you were able to get an athletic scholarship, that's fantastic. That's worth striving for even if you can't go pro in your sport. Because remember, less than 1% of athletes are going to go pro. And this whole thing that people need to remember, he is right. Someone who becomes a champion doesn't look necessarily and worry about what other people are doing or what drugs are taking because they're already taking them. Someone who's a champion will do anything including kill themselves and die two years from now to be the best. In fact, that's been that's the mindset of champions. When they've been interviewed later and they're asked if you could win a gold medal in your sport or be the best in the world in your sport and die two years afterwards as a payment for it, would you do it? 90% of them answer yes. That's the mindset of a championship pro athlete. They're willing to die to be the best. They do not care. They will do anything. But the thing is, if you have that mentality towards something that's mediocre, such as having really nice abs and just having a good body or you're doing it in something like natural bodybuilding or men's physique where you're most likely never going to make a living at it, you're going to end up with a life of mediocrity. It's not like the NFL where you're going to walk away from it famous with $20 million sitting in the bank and everybody know who you are. Not the same thing, guys. 
So we're really making an apples to oranges comparison here. Less than 1% of the viewers out there are even, far less than 1% are even athletes who are at any potential of earning a scholarship right now. And if they are, then I would say, hey, go for it. Get your scholarship, get your free education and see where that can take you. But for everything else, guys, discussing putting your physique and bodybuilding and stuff into perspective that it's just a hobby. It's not something that your life should revolve around. It's actually there to help prevent you from becoming mediocre so that you can actually focus on more worthwhile endeavors and have a balanced life. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicepius.